everyone. Thank you for joining us for week five of the Watchlist Weevil Challenge. If you don't know what this challenge is all about, please stay tuned till the end of the video and I'll share with you where you can learn more. Let's start by going to our watch list. And you do that by going to your My WikiTree menu and just scroll down to watch list down here. All right, so we're on our watch list. Pam, what is the challenge for this week? And while you explain, I can do a demo. Great. Well, if you will look at your watch list up near the top, there is a box that says name on watch list. And if you will put in the word unknown, it will lead you to some possible ideas. Okay. So this is a good point. I just wanted to bring out um, that what you are mentioning is a feature of Wikitree browser extension. And I'll add a link to that into the video description if you don't have it. I'm just going to refresh the page now. And there you see that it has a place that you can type in and search for unknown. I have to confess to you that I have a special spot in my heart for this area of your watch list and this project because I'm the team leader of the unknowns and I spend a whole lot of time solving unknowns. That unknowns in big letters on the right hand side is, yeah, I'm solving for the unknown. That will lead you to a helpful slideshow that the unknowns project and I put together a while ago that has some clues and ideas for different ways to solve unknowns. Um, keep in mind that about 90% of the unknowns that are on Wikitree are women. So if you haven't worked on these, you may have half of your tree uh, that you don't know very much about. So this is a great place um, to learn. And it may be that when you built the profile or adopted the profile, that there weren't any sources, but so many new sources have been added that if you will go back and check um, root search and family search, and if you have an ancestry subscription or any other sources, you may find out that there's information there that you didn't have before. So that's a good idea. So we're gonna be asking you to work on your unknowns. And we're going to suggest that if you are lucky enough to not have five unknowns on your list, I'm jealous, but we're gonna direct you to a list of unknown orphans that you could help with and bone up your skills, learn more and find out more. You could probably find some from your town, your surname, your county. So your challenge this week is gonna to be to find at least five unknowns and either source them or ask for assistance in G2G or maybe orphan them where you remove your name as manager so somebody else can work on them if you just aren't related to them or are no longer interested. So Azure has all sorts of things to show you about how to do this. All right, so if you don't have any unknowns on your watch list, what you can do is go to the find menu option and go to orphan, find orphaned profiles. And if you go there, click on that link. And if you type into the field here, unknown as the surname, and click the go button, it will then show you unknowns that are in uh, that are orphaned. So there, there's no profile manager on them. So this kind of gives you somewhere to start if you'd like. Another thing that you can do is go to Wikitree Plus, and you can do a search for profiles that are last name at birth. This is a fabulous resource. Teach yourself to use this. It's, I couldn't live without it. Yeah, it's, it's great. So I'm just putting in last name at birth equals unknown. And then I'm just putting in the uh, keyword of orphan. If you want to, you could also add a surname or a location or a time period. So there's play with this and learn ways to use this. It's really great. And at each section of Wikitree Plus page here, there's a question mark little icon. If you click on that, it brings up the, the help page for that part. So if you go in there, it kind of gives you some ideas of how 
you can really narrow in your search for what you'd like to work on. So let's say yes. I want to work in maybe 19th century, for example, or region, or Oregon. So that would just give me profiles from Oregon that are unknown and they're orphaned. You can really dial in what exactly where you'd like to work, the time period you'd like to work. So it's a great, yes. like you mentioned, Pam, it's a great resource. It is. So there's some examples for you on that. And that is the demo for week five. If you don't know what the watch list weevil challenge is, go ahead and go to the video description for this video that you're watching right now. And we'll have the links for the main challenge page is linked here under challenge page. The main post for you to join the challenge, if you haven't already, is there. And then uh, the week one video is linked there as well. If you are part of the challenge already, you want to report what you've done this week. Just kind of kind of walk you through that real quick here. So here's an example from week two. There'll be a question in G2G that's all set up for you to go and report what you worked on, what you did. And then it'll have the sticker text that you can put on your profile. And then the video will be linked there as well. So go ahead and join the challenge. We'd love to have you join in. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We are on Discord. So those links for the whole challenge are back here on the main page. And that again is linked in the video description, the watch list weevil challenge. So you can register for the challenge here. Here's the link to the channel on Discord. And then here is the playlist link for the watch list weevil challenge. And here's the link to all the different weeks. Thank you again, everybody for tuning in and we'll see you next week. Bye.